What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we talk about Marvel Rivals and its latest updates and yes ladies and gentlemen Blade is coming on the 8th of August which is a brand new character released to the season which is season 3.5. Now, yes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people are complaining about this game in general with high-end machines, medium-end machines, and obviously, I expected it, as always. If you're complaining on high-end machines, what about the people on low-end machines? How much aren't they complaining about this game giving them absolute, you know, atrocious problems, okay? So now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want to do, is just jump straight into it. I chose this character for a reason, because depending on the character that you're playing, and what all is happening on your screen, is depending on the frames that you're going to achieve in the game, depending on the settings you are running, and depending on the machine that you're running. I'm running a 14700K CPU, and then a 4070 Super as a graphics card, all right? So that's what I'm running right now, and I'm standing dead still, as you can see, and I'm doing about 320 fps max over here 325 fps max over here just standing here okay just basically just standing here now what i want to show you is this is the settings that i'm using currently with that fps is my samsung screen uh borderless window 16 by 9 1080p dlss uh, my super resolution mode at balance this is 80 percent my nvidia dlss frame generation with my car because i have frame generation on auto then i have everything over here just like this so obviously show fps you want that to be on so you can actually see what you're doing here on the right hand side if you don't use msi off the winner like me all right then obviously your game language whatever the case might be and you have all of these things like this this is what i have it on and when I press escape, this is what my game looks like at FPS. Now I'm going to start doing stuff so you guys can actually see what happens. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to press shift. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to go a little bit back. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to use my ulti and then do this. Watch the frames go all over the place. Right. So as you can see, the frames are all over the place. And I'm just going to start moving. I'm just going to just move. I just want to show you that if you're not in a scenario where there's a lot of stuff happening, where objects are standing dead still, my frames are going to climb to basically 400. As you can see, I'm basically looking at 400 FPS. There we go, 400. 400 FPS because there's not a lot of stuff happening right now at this very moment in my game. I'm looking at still, like a still image basically, because this is not moving. Nothing here is moving, all right? So I'm basically still hitting my 400 FPS. That's what I want, all right? But as soon as you start looking at stuff that is moving and there's a lot of things happening on the screen, you will notice that there's a lot of FPS dips in the game and stuff like that because of moving objects. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you the best settings you can use right now at this very moment with all the updates that this game has been releasing since the last update video that I've done on this game. All right, so press escape, go to your settings, and then come inside here and go to display. Now, if I come inside here, and you guys are inside here as well just come over here and then choose your display i have three monitors so i'm just going to go to my main screen but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and turn this off because then i could start changing things because i'm not going to use nobody LDLSS. i'm just going to completely turn frame generation off right now and show you what happens all right so we want this to be at full screen mode obviously have this at full screen mode always 16 by 9 as an aspect ratio had this at your highest resolution i actually dipped my display resolution lower in my nvidia control panel settings in the dsr factors so the 1080p is my max res that i do in my gaming instead of a 4k um current display because i have a 4k screen obviously this game is going to run like absolute dog shit if i put this at 4k so obviously you want to be playing this game at either 1080p or 1440p do not push it to 4k um if you are one of the people out there that's running this game at 4k perfectly fine then you are good to go i'm happy for you that's good that's amazing but yet again 1080p and 1440p is competitive gameplay settings and that's what you want rather go with that if you want a smooth gameplay experience not saying that 4k isn't a smooth gameplay experience but i would highly recommend 1080p to 1440p now we get this over here which is the anti-analyzing super resolution type now you can go ahead and select anything inside here to make your game run how you want it to run now obviously depending on the machine that you are running is how this game is going to perform i'm running a 14700k cpu from intel and then a 4070 super from nvidia that's what i'm running right now at this very moment and that's why i use nvidia dlss now you can use epic tsr if you're running a lower generation graphics card i highly recommend using this and then just go all the way to balance or go to performance just do not go to ultra performance you're going to tear your own eyes out of how bad the game looks 
don't do that rather have it at balance and you should be good to go where it comes to anti-analyzing go with a medium over here and you should be good to go as well all right now if we change this to amd fsr3 which i recommend to most people on most games if you have a budget gaming machine use amd fsr3 this could mean for all users out there doesn't matter if you're running an amd card doesn't matter if you're running an video card you can use amd fsr3 on both graphics cards just because it says amd does not mean you need to have an amd card okay so you can run this if you're running a lower end machine like a low budget gaming graphics card or let's say all the way to a medium budget gaming graphics card or budget gaming machine use amd fsr3 and then have this either at balance or now you can start changing it up a bit if you could see your machine can handle it go to like ultra quality and then have this at 80 obviously have this off and then all of these things here at the bottom exactly the same like mine and then say apply and just wait for it to apply and then just confirm it and then press escape and then you can just come and stand here and you'll see that now i'm doing basically almost 220 again but now i'm doing 200 but now my machine does not prefer this the reason why my machine does not prefer this is because of the machine i'm running the components i'm running all right so if i press escape again and i come here i highly recommend like i said if you're running a lower end machine go with this and you should be good to go ladies and gentlemen right this is another intel upscaling that you can go ahead and use and then go to ultra quality plus i'm just going to apply this and press escape and i'm just going to show you what i'm looking at i'm looking at about 186 187 fps right now and if i press escape and i come here and i go over here and i go to this one over here which is taau and then apply these settings once more press escape stand here and now i'm looking at about 177 fps but like i said because of my machine that i'm running the specs that i'm running my machine obviously likes for me to be on nvidia dlss have this at ultra quality nvidia dlss and then have this nvidia dlss frame generation have it on auto and have it automatically just to how you want your game to perform and then have all of these like this if i have to say apply it's just going to take a little while yes it's confirming every single change that's going to happen right now and press escape now i'm looking at about like I said, 300 FPS. Now, yes, a lot of people will comment down below and say that, hey, man, it, uh, frame generation is just AI created frames and that they are fake, uh, that your game is actually not pushing 300 FPS. Now, as you could see earlier on, I was pushing 200 FPS overall, just in general. I was pushing over 200 FPS or almost 200 FPS on every single upscaling with my settings. Okay. So no matter what setting I'm using, it, it just runs at about 200 fps perfectly fine now this is with nvidia dlss on and now i'm going to start doing things like i said again and just show you what happens so the fps is all over the place like i said as you can see the fps is all over the place now i'm going to run again i'm just going to start doing things and i'm just going to come stand here in an open spot now let me show you something quick if i'm looking right now at this very moment at this still standing object I'm doing 364 FPS right now. If I press escape and I go to settings and I go over here and I start changing these things to Epic TSR and I have it at quality, this at medium and this at auto, but then I turn this completely off because I, let's say you don't have this, you go to apply, I go escape, look what I'm looking at. 300 fps okay that's a whole 100 fps less people will say in general that the video deal is his frame generation isn't a thing that you should be using or from amd side because it is a multiplayer game you should only be using it in single player games now if you can get away with frame generation, I highly recommend using it because it can actually bump up your game's performance. It can actually also increase the game's just in general how it plays, all right? It can increase things for your game to be stable. Now, a lot of people will, yet again, like I said, comment down below and be like, hey, that's bullshit. That, for instance, if you put frame generation on, it's just fake frames that you are seeing. You're physically seeing fake frames. Now, right now, at this very moment, like I said, I am not using. It is completely off okay and i am doing 200 300 fps basically standing dead still looking at this object over here now if i start doing things like i said i'm just going to start doing things you'll see that my fps will change yes it will dip down ladies and gentlemen but it will come back to 300 like i said so i'm looking at about an average of a 270 to 300 fps with just in general settings okay in general settings with my computer but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's go over this, right? So, for low-end machines, ladies and gentlemen, I would highly recommend AMD FSR 3 and change this up to what you prefer. If you've got a very low-end gaming graphics card in general, 
then go to balance. Do not put this at performance. You can tear out your own eyes. Then rather just bump it up to a different, comp then rather completely change this to something else. Like TAA, you rather use this one and have the render scale at 100. Do not dip this down. Please, for the love of fuck, do not dip this down. Have this at 100% and you should be good to go. Apply these settings on your machine and press escape and just come and stand here and look at the frames that you're doing. Start doing things with your character so you can actually see what how far your FPS dips down because you want to see things happening on the screen, right? So I'm looking around, doing things, you know, jumping, you know, doing my abilities and everything. So you want to see where your FPS dips to. So I was looking about 220 over there. That was the lowest I went to. Now, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is the best settings you can use right now overall is NVIDIA DLSS. is if you have the graphics card to that can basically run it. If you have a newer generation NVIDIA card, go with NVIDIA DLSS, okay? Come over here to quality, have this at 80, have this at auto, and it will auto adjust the settings for you, and have all of these exactly the same as mine. All of these should be exactly the same as mine, no matter what you are changing inside here, okay? No matter what you are changing inside here. Please go ahead and do that, okay? Then obviously yours is going to be off when it comes to this. Yours will be off if you don't have a card that has, for instance, uh, frame generation, if it comes from NVIDIA or AMD, right? So let's just go here and we'll we go over here and I'm just going to show you. Everything should just be exactly the same as mine. Have them exactly the same as mine. No matter what upscaling you're using, have them exactly the same as mine and you should be good to go, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, when it comes to this Epic TSR, you can actually use this because you can choose what you want your anti-analyzing to be on. Do you want it to be on medium, high or ultra? Now, obviously, you don't want it to be that high. So go to medium, have this at quality because you want quality out of the game or you can go you go even to balanced over here and say apply and your game will run very smooth fps there we're looking at 313 fps right now and i highly recommend running your game like this then overall because the game still looks really really good as you can see i'm just going to run up to here again and do the same thing over let's come over here and stand over here like i was standing before and as you can see my game looks exactly the same with frame gen on and with the best settings on in general run your game like this and you should be good to go ladies and gentlemen if this video helped you smash that like button leave a comment down below subscribe to your channel if you're new here and as always i hope this video helped you and peace out